Hello everyone. Welcome back to new, uh, new session on image processing. So in the last class we have seen about the um, like see uh, till now we have did lots of operations on the image processing right it is track bar create track bar image th uh, image thresholding right so in this class what we are going to do we are going to find out the contours right on images or on videos so first let's understand what is contours right so basically contours are called like what is contours contours are the line which join the all points whose are having a same intensity right for example let's suppose uh, there are some shape uh, different kind of shapes are there right if you want to part if you want to target a particular shape it means all shape are having different intensity right so in that case we can use contours right so basically contours are very helpful when you are going to find out the uh, find, find out the object uh, when you are going to detect the object when you are going to find the size of any particular object or when you are going to do the shape analysis right so in that case you are, you are going to use the contours right and contours see actually you can apply contours on all kind of images but it is good practice always apply contours on a binary images that is um, black and white images right so let's jump to the software and let's see how we can apply this one right <clears throat> so first you need to import cv2 let's read any images first so cv2 dot i am read because we need to find out the contours of any particular images for that you need to uh, read any images let's suppose for now i'm just working on this apple.jpg images okay and just do one more thing let's resize the size of these images so image comma all of you already know that's why i'm going quickly 400 comma 400 height and width now first what i want to do see whenever as i told you uh, this contour will uh, best practice to apply on the binary images so first you need to convert this image to the binary that is gray so i'll write cv2 dot cvt color right and i need to apply on these images and then cv2 dot color underscore ezr to gray right after this I need to find out the threshold of these images also, right? So I'll take thres. I'm just you can give any variable. First one is underscore because I don't want this. I don't. I only want to use the threshold value, right? So cv2 dot. You already know the method threshold, and this I need to apply on this gray images. So first, let's suppose I'm taking 150. This is the threshold value, and maximum value will be 255. And here I want to apply cv2 dot thres binary thres binary you can apply any method right okay so first we have uh, read the images and then we have resized the images and then we have uh, changed the um, like mode of the images from bzr to gray color and then we have uh, applied the thresholding also now to find to uh, f like find out the contours right there is a method cv2 dot right cv2 dot find contours right now see this method will return you some value right number one is the contours so here i am taking a variable and second variable hierarchy we don't need that right we only need the contours point so that's why i have kept blank the second variable and in this contour method first you need to find out the where you want from which images so i want to find out from this threshold next second one is the mode of the cv2 dot return uh, return tree there are different mode right you can use any mode here i'm using it this is the inbuilt method uh, mode of this point contour method next one will be the methods right so there are different kinds of methods uh, let's suppose here uh, okay so next method is chain approx method so you can use any method chain approx symbol or chain approx none right now after finding the contours now we need to draw these contours on our images so i'll write cv2 dot I am show and then here first let's get image comma images this is our final image now so what I want to do I want to apply the images on this contour right so I'll write cv2 dot draw contours right so to draw the contours you need to call this method draw contours so I want to draw these contours on the image right that is our main images second you need to find out the contours Con sorry contours right 
and next point will be the contour id let's suppose you are having five contours six contours so i want to uh, i want to draw all the contours for that i need to write down minus 1 right and then next argument will be the color of the contour so let's i'm taking keeping it to the green and next argument will be the thickness of the contours right so, okay great so we are good to go but we need to pass some more things that like is weight key and then cv2 dot destroy all windows right okay so let's run this one and okay i think there is some error okay let me check it is saying invalid syntax so let me check draw contours this is fine cv2 dot i am show this is also fine okay so i think we have did everything is correct so why this error is showing contours okay so let's try again Okay, so run this one. In line one, import CV2. This is fine. This one is also fine, and this one is also fine. We have already converted. Uh, let me check everything. CVT color and thresholding will give you the gray 152 CV2 dot thresh binary. This is also fine. Contours. Okay, after finding the threshold, right? Find contours. This is also fine. Okay, draw contours. This is also everything is fine. Why it's showing? Okay, let me check again. Wait key zero. CV two to destroy all windows. I am sure. Draw contours. Yeah. Okay. Gray image image. Wait. We are applying on these images contours. Find controls, thresh holding. Yeah, we have did everything correct. Then why this error is coming? Okay, let me do one more thing. Run without W and W. Okay. Yeah, see. Okay, sometimes it's a it's not the code issue. It's the software issue, right? Now we can see we have already drawn all the controls, right? So this is your first control, the square. Right, you can see the intensity of this square. The boundary of this square is same. Right, this is second contour, the close shape. Yeah, this one. This is your third contour. This is also contour. Now let's do one thing. Let's find out how many contours we have drawn. So what we will do? We'll just print the value. I'll write paint, and here I want to find out the length of contours. Uh, basically, this method will give you how many contours are there. Right, and now let's run again. Okay, so. Run again, and in the output we can see total 60 contours are there. You can see in the output area there are 60 contours. Now what about if I want to draw the contour which are having which are having the index number 10, right? So let's run this one. Yeah, you can see this dot. This is your contour uh, which is at index 10, right? Again, let's suppose if I want to find uh, draw the contour which are at like point at index 50. So again, I will just run this one. Yeah, you can see this dot, right? So in this way, you can find out the contours, right? But if you want to draw all the contours, simply write down minus one. It will help you to contour all the. It will help you to draw all the contours, right? Like this one. So hope all of you understood about the contour. See, the contour is very interesting. It will be very helpful in the upcoming classes, right? Whenever we are going to detect the face of a person or the eyes of the person or a particular target area of the person. right and don't confuse about this method this is the inbuilt methods so you can try with different methods chain approx non chain approx simples this is the method this is the approx right so hope all of you like uh, this video i'll see you in the next class bye everyone thank you so much